Hi everyone, welcome to Excel tutorial. Today we will talk about ab absolute and relative references and formulas. Before we do that, I would like to show you how to make an exchange office using these formulas in a worksheet. As you see, I've opened an ex exchange office in my workbook. And uh, you know, there are four different money currencies, Euro, Dollar, Ruble and the British Pound. And I put also, uh, you know, for every different currencies, how much do they equal in terms of dinar? For Euro example, it's 61 dinar. The dinar is used also in the Macedonian, by the way, for extra information. And by, um, the example, one dollar cost um, 49. The ruble is very cheap. It's not even one dinar. The one pound is the an expensive one. Is 69. Okay, and uh, let's say you have. Uh, I'm going to delete these parts. Let's say you have 5 euro and when you have 5 euro you will get 307 dinar from the exchange office. Let's say you found also 10 dollar beside this euro and you would like to ex also exchange this and whatever you write here it will uh, convert to dinar. This program also can be used by the officers that who is running this exchange office. Uh, I would like to show you the programming of this quickly. As you see, it presents with Euro, Dollar. I found them from here. And you can find some of the common the currencies. If you don't see the thing that you're looking for, you can click on the More uh, Formatting Comments. And from here, you will find the thing that you're looking for. It's it's a little bit hard to find. Example, I found the uh, the Macedonian from here, the Macedonian dinar, and also you can find a different things. Example, the, the Russian money, the rubble, whatever. And I put these currencies over there, these symbols, and the formula is very simple. I think everyone can do this. Let me write the formula again for you. I'm going to delete them all. All right. So by the way, I also set this one for the dinar. When I write anything, uh, it's going to write 34 point with two decimals and also the dinar currency beside this. Uh, but I don't want 34, I want the, the result after the number is input in the cells. I would like to start with equal, as all the formulas start with, and uh, I'm going to select this one because I need to multiply this one with the equivalent of one euro in terms of dinar times this one plus I'm going to select a dollar and one dollar is equal to 49 dinar that's why I'm going to multiply with this quickly okay and I'll do the same process for ruble and also British pound Let's select this and this one finally and right here. Here we go. Let's say you have only thousand ruben and it will give you eight hundred ninety dinar. Okay. Now I would like to show you the absolute and relative references. This is the, when you look at this table, A1, it's the relative column for the A and relative row. When you see the dollar, the dollar symbol makes the column absolute. Or if you place this to the row side, it will make your row absolute. If you put this for both sides, it will make the absolute column and row. Why do we put this icon? And sometimes you want an address not to change when you copy it to another location. In such conditions, you add the dollar sign to, to the front of column or row reference. Being able to place the dollar sign to the front of a row or a column separately provides flexibility. Let's practice this. I'm going to copy this. I will make a calculation in table now I'll copy this and place these selection uh, horizontally I'm going to click right here 
and you see this one transpose and it's going to place this uh, horizontally and after that I'm going to write here the total come on and also write here numbers some numbers okay I would like to also make them all with the borders Now I'm going to write here some numbers quickly. All right. I would like to also take this one beside my table. And you can also drag the table. Example, first you make the selection. And when you see this symbol beside your cursor, and you can drag this to different places. All right. Here we go. Now. Let me put this one cell right. I'll move this there. And now I'm going to get a total of the first calculation. I will do this one. Equal. All right. This one times euro. Let me do this quickly. Dollar. As you see, I can select this British pound. I can write manually E8. It's ready. I can place here also denar, but I would like to do this later. Um, now I would like to do the same thing for others. I can drag it down. All right. Check this out. So as you see, some of them maybe look um, correct, but when you look at these zeros, it means something going wrong. So when you get these numbers arithmetically, uh, you want to apply the same formula for other cells. When you do that for other cells, it's going to increase also the number of the columns and rows arithmetically. Let's see what happened there. I'm going to click double here and look what's going on. It's shifting one cell down. I will do that for this one also. Look at this. It also shifted one more cell to the down. When you look at this one, it's away from our table. So in order to keep them constant, only to take the value from the zero, you have to put this icon. Example, here we go. I9. For the I9, I'm going to put here dollar symbols and it won't move okay I'm going to put these dollar signs and it will make these places non-changeable let's only practice this for the euro and I'm going to drag it down again let's see what happened for this one look at this one it's not moving down I see also for the bottom as you see, dollar symbol made this constant. It makes it absolute. Let me do the same thing for others. Okay. It's ready. Now, look at this. When I do that one, it will change all of them. And we can double check. As you see, its places, the selected places is not shifting or moving. They're perfectly. As you see that, the dollar symbol saved it. Alright, we have finished our project here. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.